Hi, and welcome to the Leaderboard Golf Centre in Reading. My name's Andrew Wilde, PJ Professional and Coach here at the Centre. Today I want to sh talk to you about a drill that we do called circles. Now when uh, amateur golfers come in, quite often we will see that the, the setup is quite poor, and when they swing at the top of the swing, their left arm bends. It's for many reasons, mainly because the grip's poor and you can't what we call hinge, and if you can't hinge, it will go to the next joint and bend your arm. So there are some technical things you have to put right before you can do this drill. But once you're in a good position, we basically want to feel, if you imagine my head is a drawing pin, my arms and the shaft are a length of string, and the club head is a pencil, if my drawing pin stayed centre, the string stayed extended, we would then create a perfect circle as we swung the golf club, a bit like a football if you like. What a lot of people do is they bend their arm during the backswing, and that then creates a bit more of a rugby ball shape to encourage you to hit the ground before the ball, top the ball, and generally it's a very unpowerful position. So we do this exercise called circle. So it's in three forms. So we start off everything parallel to the ground with your arms and shaft of the club and your spine absolutely straight. Then from there, what I want you to imagine is there's a massive hoop around your body and your job is to keep the club head on the edge of that hoop as you swing through whilst keeping your sternum and your head fairly still. So what I want to do is to swing with the club head staying on the hoop and the club head dragging my body around as it needs. Now if that club head comes off the hoop, and my arm bends, I lose all my power and then I'm gonna be swinging down at the ball. If I can keep the club head on the hoop, my head fairly still, my body rotates, as I swing forward the ball gets hit, my right shoulder hits my chin, and then I swing through into that full finish. So everything's staying parallel to the ground. Okay, now that is basically a golf swing, it's just we're changing a spinal angle. So once you're happy with that, we go to the second phase, which is a ball about knee height. So from there, the angle's gonna change, it's gonna shallow. So from here, same thing, sternum still, head still, keep the club head on the edge of the hoop all the way through the swing. As you swing through, allow your right shoulder to hit your chin, and swing through. Then we get to ground level, which is a bit more realistic in golfing terms, but it's the same principle. We've just bent from the, the pelvis a little bit more. So now sternum and head still, and club head on the hoop all the way through the swing. Ball gets collected, right shoulder hits my chin, and I'm up into that full finish. If you practice each level, the parallel to the ground is the easiest one, and then it gets a little bit more difficult because you can change your angles both ways. So get very good at parallel, knee and then eventually at the ball. So in the drills we do, we do three uh, parallel, three at knee, three at ground level and then three shots without really thinking about it. You have to do it a number of times before it comes into practice and becomes automatic but if you do it, it will really improve your golf. Have a go.